This is the last machine learning algorithm that we'll be looking at in this particular series. Transformers are deep learning architecture designed for handling sequential data without relying on recurrence, which is commonly used in RNNs. Instead, transformers use a mechanism called self-attention to process all tokens in the sequence simultaneously, capturing dependencies between tokens regardless of their distance in the sequence. Transformers have become the foundation of many NLP tasks and models, including BERT and GPTs. Let's go ahead and implement transformers using Python, and I'm going to go over each line of code as and we go through it. So first, I've created a file called as transformers.py. Here, I'm going to first import the necessary libraries. TensorFlow, STF, this is the main library for building and training deep learning models. Layers from tensorflow.keras is the Keras module for creating different types of neural network layers. IMDB, Keras module for loading the IMDB dataset used for sentiment analysis, classifying movie reviews as positive or negative. Then sequence from TensorFlow Keras preprocessing is a Keras utility for pre-processing sequence data, especially useful for padding or truncating sequences to a uniform length. Let's go ahead and load the load and pre-process the IMDB dataset. First, I'm going to set max features equal to 10,000, max length equal to 200. Now, the max features limits the vocabulary to the 10,000 most frequent words in the dataset. Any words not in the top 10,000 are ignored. Max length is 200. It restricts each movie reviews to 200 words, truncating longer reviews and padding shorter ones. Next, we are going to say x train y train, comma x test, comma y test equal to IMDb load data number of words equal to max features. This function loads the IMDb dataset, returning the top max feature words. The X train and Y train are the training data and labels, whereas X test and Y test are the testing data and labels. Next, I'm going to say X train equal to sequence dot pad sequences, X train max length equal to max length. This pads or truncates each review in the X train to make all reviews have exactly max underscore length words required for efficient batch processing in neural networks. Next, I'm going to do the same thing with X test, which pads or truncates X test reviews to a length of 200 words, which is our max length variable. Define a transformer block. Now here we're going to create a transformer block. So we're going to start with calling it class transformer block layers dot layer. This particular thing defines a custom layer representing a transformer block. I'm going to write the initializer method and it needs self embed dem number of heads ff dem rate equal to zero fun this is the constructor method where self is its own object and embed dem is the embedding embedding dimension for each word vector number of heads is the number of attention heads in the multi head attention layer ff dem is the number of units in the feed forward layer and rate is the dropout rate to prevent overfitting Next, I'm going to call the super method uh, of the initializer. And then I'm going to say self dot ATT equal to layers multi head attention number of heads equal to number of heads key dim equal to embed dim. So this is multi head self attention mechanism to learn contextual relationship in the input data. Next, I'm going to say self dot FFN equal to TF dot Keras sequential. This defines a feed forward neural network FFN layer with a dense layer, this one first one, with FF dim under units and ReLU activation. We have another dense layer with embed dim units returning the same dimension as the input. Next, let's close it out and create the self layer norm one equal to layers dot layer normalization, epsilon equal to one raised to six, layer norm 2, same thing that I'm going to do. These are uh, layer normalization layers to stabilize and improve model performance. 
Next, we have self dot dropout one and self dot dropout two layers dropout rate. Dropout layers to randomly drop units during training, reducing overfitting. Next, let's create a function called as call. This takes in uh, targets uh, takes parameters of self inputs and training equal to none. This defines the forward pass for the transformer block, where we'll create attn output equal to self dot att input. This applies self attention, allowing the model to consider each word in the context of the others. Attn output equal to self dot dropout one attn output training training applies dropout during training to the attention output. Out one self dot layer norm one input plus attn output. This adds the attention output to the original input and normalizes. FFN output equal to self dot FFN out one passes the normalized output through the feed forward network. We create FFN output self dot dropout to FFN output comma training equal to training. This applies dropout to the feed forward network output. And finally, we return the self dot layer norm two out one plus FFN output. So this adds the feed forward network output to out one and applies normalization for the final output. Let's go ahead and define the model. For this, I'm going to use the embedding layer, a number of heads, and FF dim equal to 32. So first one is the embedding dimension of each word vector. The number of heads is in, in the multi head attention layer is the num underscore heads, which is two, and FF dim equal to 32, which is units in the feed forward network. Let's go ahead and say inputs equal to layer dot input shape of max length comma. This uh, inputs layer equal to layer dot input is an input layer accepting sequence of length max underscore length. Next, we're going to create the embedding layer. Layers equal to embedding input dim equal to max features, output dim equal to embed dim, and input length equal to max length. This is embedding layer that maps word indices to dense vector of size embed underscore dim. Next, we're going to create x equal to embedding underscore layer inputs. This passes input sequences through the embedding layer. Transformer block equal to transformer block, embed dim, number of heads, and FF dim. This initializes the transformer block with specified dimensions. X equal to transformer block X comma training equal to true applies the transformer block to X explicitly setting training equal to true. X equal to layers global average pooling 1D X. This reduces each sequence's dimension by averaging across the time axis. X equal to layers dropout 0.1 and X apply dropout with a 10% rate. That's why 0.1. X layer dense 20 activation equal ReLU. It's a fully connected layer with 20 units and ReLU activation. X equal to layers dropout of 0.1 X is applied dropout to the dense layer again with 10% rate. Output equal to layers dense one activation sigmoid as X. This output layer with a single unit and sigmoid activation for binary classification. Now let's go ahead and compile the model. Model equal to tf.keras model, inputs equal to inputs and outputs equal to outputs. So this creates a keras model object from the input and the output that we created earlier. Then I'm going to say compile and train the model. Model dot compile optimizer Adam loss equal to binary cross entropy and metrics equal to accuracy. This configures the model for training. Optimizer Adam is uses Adam optimizer, which dynamically adjusts learning rates. Binary cross entropy loss for binary classification is used here and metrics measures accuracy during training and evaluation. So let's go ahead and train the model. So model dot fit x underscore train y train batch size 64 epox 3 validation split equal to 0 0.2. This will train the model on the training data. X train y train are the training data and labels. Batch size 64 processes 64 samples per training batch. Epox 3 is the model goes through the entire data set three times. Validation split equal to 0 0.2, which reserves 20% of the training data for validation. Next, let's go ahead and evaluate the model. 
test loss, test accuracy, model dot evaluate, evaluate, x test, comma y test. This evaluates the model on the test set. The test loss is the computed loss of the test data and the test accuracy is the accuracy of the model on the test data. Now let's go ahead and print this. So this is the entire algorithm of how to implement transformers in your code and they're all coming from some of the TensorFlow libraries for you to use. So it's pretty straightforward, pretty easy to implement only 60 lines of code. Let's go ahead and run it first to check if it actually works. I'm gonna go ahead and say python transformers.py run it again this time i've given only three epochs so it will be faster but again i'll still forward it to the third epoch and continue from there so we have completed with our three epochs and now to calculate the accuracy overall we can see the accuracy is almost 86 percent 85.91 that's pretty good and that's how you can implement transformers using python if you had any issues or any problems implementing this or have any questions, let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you.